Here's a short recap of part 10 of the Frogger series. First, we enable the water plugin for our project, which will give us access to the ocean and river water bodies. Second, we'll create our main level for this prototype. Use the basic level template and delete the platform. This will leave us with an empty level with the sky and lighting already set up. We'll need to add in a landscape to the level and use the default settings. The water plugin works directly with the landscape to deform and shape it so the water bodies can fit. Let's add our first water body. We'll add in an ocean and reset the world position to 000. Adjust the falloff mode to use width and to remove any indents around the edges of the map. Next, we'll add a plane to use as our road. Reset the world position and scale it in the X by 10 and 200 in the Y. Then we'll bump the Z position up by one unit so it sits above the landscape. Now we'll need to import our road textures and create a material off them. Set the material to use tessellation so we can enable the displacement pin, then add in the texture coordinate node and set the UV tiling to scale by one by 20 so the material isn't distorted due to our scaling. Duplicate the roads and place them edge to edge until you have six lanes. Now we'll import our tunnel mesh and its textures. We can create a material using the textures and apply it to the tunnel mesh. Position the tunnels at both ends of the roads. Uh, make sure to dig them into the ground so the road sits above them. Now we'll import our sidewalk and its textures, and just like before, we'll create a material using those textures and apply it to the sidewalk mesh. Then position the sidewalks at the edges of the roads, and make sure to dig them into the ground so the road sits above them. Finally, add the feature content pack so we can add a moss texture to our landscape to round out our level. Stay tuned for part 11.